Hi D-Respect, due to a copyright claim, your video has been blocked. This means that your video can no longer be played on YouTube. Video title, Why Kanye Loves Trump. Copyrighted content, video clip, claimed by Universal Music Group. Mm hmm. Now, before I start this video, I'd like to urge you to hit the notification bell for notifications on future videos and also like the video if you like. And if you dislike the video, you're simply just a terrible person. What I do here on YouTube is done under the guidelines of fair use. Now you ask, what is fair use? Well, it's simply the doctrine that brief excerpts of copyright material may under certain circumstances be quoted verbatim for purpose such as criticism, news reporting, teaching, and research without the need for permission from or payment to the copyright holder. Now, if I could put that in simple terms, what I do here is protected for the simple fact that it can be categorized as criticism, news reporting, teaching, or research. Whatever division you want to put it under, that simply protects me from taking content and speaking over it. And also another thing that fair use does is if you're not competing with the original content of the video, for example, if you take Childish Gambino's This Is America and you take the visuals of the video but you speak over it, then you are not competing with Childish Gambino's video because Childish Gambino's video has two components to it. It has the visual, the, the visual component of him dancing around and the actual song laid over it. So once you take the audio off of it and speak over it, it is now considered fair use because you are criticizing it, you are reporting something over it, teaching or research, understood? This was a video that I did on the 26th of April. You guys will all remember that this is when Kanye was running around doing all his, you know, Make America Great Again and his pictures with Lior Cohen. So fast forward to this week when I get uh, an email about this very same video and I get two claimants on this video. This is the nature of, of YouTube for the sort of content that I create because I strip content and I, and I put it on my channel. I've had many videos that have been demonetized. I mean, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head how many there are, but if there's anybody out there who makes this sort of content, you guys understand this is the nature of the business. This is what we get into. And since we're just little old content creators, we just can't win every single uh, every sim single copyright claim. So I have two on this particular video from MS Communication Hot 97. MS Communication is the parent company that owns Hot 97. And as I said in the intro here, you have Universal Music Group. So you see here at the top, it says visual, audio visual content from 214 to 301. This particular claim I feel is legitimate simply because if you look at 214, I play a clip of an interview that was done by Ebro with Kanye and I use the actual audio from that clip. Now that's totally legitimate from 214 to 301. And as you can see here, they said uh, monetized by copyright owner. And I also have the right to file a dispute. Now under that, that's when everything gets very hazy because at 747, to 914, they claim that they have uh, a visual content case. And 747 to 914, it's simply what's always been done. It's a clip of Kanye's power video because in this video, I'll reiterate my, I'll reiterate my position in this video for those who never heard it. So at the time when this was all going on, what you would remember is that everyone and their mother, when Kanye put the hat on, everyone and their mother was crying that Kanye's in the sunken place, that Kanye's a Trump supporter, that Kanye uh, supports Trump's, uh, 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 you know, uh, the immigrant uh, policies. He, he's a racist, a xenophobe, and Kanye's for all of that mess. Now, I knew that this wasn't the case because, wait for it, I've been watching Kanye West for years, and I know that Kanye West is a person who's obsessed with his own power one would argue that he's obsessed with his power because he wants to do good with it but he's still obsessed with it nonetheless 
Trump would obviously be a person that would use his power for the darkness. So my position was that Kanye was obsessed with Trump because of what he was able to do in the political spectrum and well, not spectrum. I just use that word totally incorrectly. What he was able to do in the political sector, that's what Kanye wanted to do in terms of everything, in terms of the fashion industry, in terms of whatever there is that Kanye wants to get into. He doesn't want to be denied access. He knows that he will be opposed and eventually he will succeed just like Trump. That's it. That's why Kanye loves Trump. And that was my position. Some of you may also remember that after I had come out with this video, that was sort of the position that a lot of other people had. And then it was only confirmed after Kanye did his several interviews and it was sort of laid out that way that that's what he admired about Trump. Now, that's why I used the power footage in this video where you see they say from 747 to 914, there's a, a copyright claim there. But the problem is, is that it's still my voice laid over the power footage. And the policy here apparently is blocked in all countries. Let me explain something. I think that the claim by MS Communication is totally legitimate because, like I told you before, if you are competing with the original content, then that is a case for a copyright claim. If you go to Hot 97's YouTube channel, you could hear that very same audio being played. So whether they sent, uh, wh whether it was a bot, whether it was, you know, some underling that makes $12 an hour over at YouTube that was sent to do this, it doesn't matter. That red flagged. And I can totally understand that. And as they state here, they've taken monetization. Dude, that's cool. I make money on YouTube, but YouTube is not how I eat. So that's just the nature of the business, and that's happened a lot of times. Now, what is not legitimate is the fact that they have this visual content claim. It makes no sense because, as I said, under the guidelines of fair use, I can take that visual component, and by criticizing it, that's it. It becomes mine. I am not competing with Kanye's power video. So there's no reason at all why this video should be taken down. I'll liken it to this. If you guys are sports fans, let's say, for example, LeBron James fouls Steph Curry. And it's a very hard and physical foul. And he is given a technical foul for his troubles. But he is not kicked out of the game. But then the NBA, which they sometimes do, they review certain fouls after the game and they determine whether they want to give people fines. And let's say they decide to fine uh, LeBron James $30,000 for the foul. But the funny thing about it is, is you find somebody $30,000 for a foul within a game that they weren't even kicked out of. So the reason why I link this together is I wasn't even given a copyright strike for this visual content claim. So you take down the video and it's sort of like you fast forwarded all the way to the fine when the video didn't even give me a copyright strike. And I'm not saying that I want a copyright strike, but I'm saying it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to take down a video where it doesn't seem that I, 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 I'd been punished. I, I'd been given a, a direct punishment you know, sort of the, the, the initial step before the video being taken down. It doesn't make any sense to me. You know, I can only assume a few things. And, and I'm not one of these YouTubers that jumps up on YouTube and assumes that they are the whistleblower, that they are the modern day Malcolm X and they are being silenced by the powers that be and Big Brother has got their eye on them and they've got something important to say and that's why they're being silenced. I'm not one of those people at all, but I don't think that what I've been sent here is legitimate enough to warrant my video taken down. So I'll just leave it at that. I can't assume anything. I can't say that anything in particular that I said in the video was something that was harmful to, you know, you know, because obviously uh, good music is owned by universal music groups. So that is under uh, the umbrella. Now, as I said, I've been given the chance to file a claim here. And as you can see, these are my options. I believe this copyright claim is not valid because I own the CD or DVD. I mean, that's hilarious that they would even put the CD or DVD, uh, uh, brought the song online. 
uh, I'm not selling the video or making any money from it. I gave credit in the video. The video is my original content and I own all the rights, blah, 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 blah. Okay, look, the point is my claim would come under my use of the content meets the legal requirements for fair use or fair dealing under applicable copyright laws. Continue. So I've made this video because I don't feel that this is right. YouTube is supposed to be a place for creation. It was supposed to be a place where creators could create and you could make your ad revenue and create. And because of fair use, you're protected to do that. But it seems like the bigger this whole internet thing is becoming, it seems like the rules are being bent a little bit. And if you're the little guy, if you're a small YouTube channel, you, you really don't have much of a voice. You really don't have a, a, a way to fight this. And, and I really feel like it's violating because if you want to take the monetization, if you want to take the money for the video, that's fine. But that was my video, son. You know what I'm saying? That was my video. It took time to make that video and now you stripped it. You know, you didn't make it private. You didn't do any of that. You just totally took it off. And why? For what? It makes you think. But I'll just leave it at that. If there's anybody out there for, for whatever reason that stripped that video, that downloaded that video, please email me at d.podcast at gmail.com and send it to me as quickly as you can so I can own that video and so I can take a look at it. Obviously, I can, you know, I can take a look at it here on YouTube, but I can't, uh, I, I can't strip it from YouTube. I can't download it. The video is no longer mine. It just only exists within YouTube's server space or whatever the fuck please let me know uh well look don't let me know anything man this is something that i had to keep you guys aware of because this is the direction that the world is moving this 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 world is moving in the direction where creators are sort of just abused and and just stripped of all their rights you know they have to accept being stripped of the, the little money that they make and now you know, you're basically stepping all over my sandcastle and fucking pissing all over it. And it doesn't make any sense.